Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Iqra. If you just tuned in, my guest today is Sheikh Muhammad Hisham Qabani, the American uh, leader of the Naqshabandi uh, Haqqani Sufi order. And Sheikh here has a lot of publications, both in English and Arabic, about 30, about 30. And also, he has articles available at www.islamic islamic supreme council.org islamic supreme council.org now you want to visit uh, this site and read some very important articles written by chef let me just mention a few bin laden's nuclear weapon and the other one is osama bin laden a legend gone wrong and um, islam and democracy Understanding Sharia Islamic law for the classical Islamic from this classical Islamic perspective. You want to go online www.islamicsupremecouncil.org and read some of these articles. Let me mention a few publications that have just a few. The Ninefold Accent. Who are the guys? Banquet for the Soul. Um, universe Rising. Uh, pearls and coral, just a few among uh, the lot that Sheikh has written. Sheikh, uh, you work with international organizations to establish the International Day of the Orphans as a globally observed day for highlighting the plight of orphans, foster children and child victims of abuse. Yesterday you were at the Islamic Council for uh, ICODES, Islamic Council for Development and Humanitarian Service, Sheikh Mustafa Ibrahim's office, Sheikh Mustafa Ibrahim, a very uh, wonderful personality in this country. And you saw lots of orphans in the conference room. What, is, what was your impression? How did you feel meeting this young? I was uh, really happy and sad at the same time. Happy that there is someone or an organization that taking care of them and sad for their feelings that they, are, they have problems and uh, they don't have someone to go to, they lack the father or the mother or both or whatever it is. So it is a sad situation. And not only, uh, I think uh, he mentioned to me, these are not the only orphanages That's they right. have. They have lots, lots around, uh, the, around Ghana. And there are other organizations as the same. So we applaud him for his work. And uh, that's why we try to do an international day for the orphans. Because Prophet Sallallahu Allah said in the Quran, don't be rude or destroy the orphan or don't eat the money of the orphan. Mm -hmm. So we try to establish a day that United Nations will observe but unfortunately when we throw that uh, that uh, idea we need some at least three muslim countries according to the united nations laws to, ad to adopt it and then it goes on so we didn't find except malaysia to adopt uh, we're still working on it we are still working on it and for other countries to adopt if we can get some other country then it would be an international thing right. for all in one of your publications is the title Banquet for the Soul. Now, this is a beautiful title, Banquet for the Soul. How does the soul have a banquet or enjoy a banquet for the soul? If uh, you don't nourish the soul, mm -hmm. will, the soul will die. Mm -hmm. And if the soul dies, there is no more energy for the body. Mm -hmm. So the body is like an atom. You have the mass and you have the electron. Mm -hmm. The electrons are in circumambulating around the mass mm -hmm. and non-stopping in a speed of light. Mm -hmm. So as you, as a, an atom has to exist with both of them, also the, soul, the body has to exist with the soul. So if the soul goes out and not nourished well with a heavenly food, it might be punished. As Allah said in Holy Quran and as Prophet mentioned in many ahadiths. So, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We are owned by Allah and to Him we are going back. So don't go poor, go wealthy. If you go wealthy, then 
you are happy. Okay. If you go poor, you are going to have a question mark. That's why Prophet said, Many Muflis, who, are, who is the poor? They said the poor is the one who has no money. He said, No, the one who has no amal. And they said, Why in Sama wa in Salah? He said, Why in Sama wa in Salah? He has no amal when he is going not to nourish his soul, not to backbite, not to cheat, not to deceive. All these are things that you have to nourish the soul in order that you can, can move with, with the body. When I first introduced you uh, into the studio and I said, Welcome to TV3, you acknowledged the number three. And you said you love the number three, you were telling me it is water. For our viewers, what does it mean, water three? Water is everything, uh, when it is mufrad, it's like when we pray salatul water. It's as if we are showing our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we accept tawheed, because tawheed is the reality of everything and Tawheed must be one so cannot be more than one Absolutely. so three is the Sunnah of Prophet ﷺ. when you drink you drink three times when you eat it's three times not eat all the day you are eating and all night you are eating <laughs> so there is discipline in Islam for how to accommodate yourself in the number of three this is a plus for TV3. So yeah, number three, you know, it's a wonderful number. Sheikh, back in the United States of America, gangsterism is a problem. It's a social problem in the United States of America. And what I see in, in your profile here, you're working with the community to end gangsterism. I know how difficult it is to even approach the leadership of the gangs. How do you get around to it? When you show your you show them, uh, you trust them, they trust you. Gangs, this is how they work. They build their relation on trust. When you don't betray them, they are good with you. So we, we try to send some people that they can trust and live with them from the huge community in the United States. You can send some people in every district. So we have many students around and many people working with us. So they go within their community. They are from them. They are African Americans or they are Filipinos or they are whatever they are, they are Mexican, they are better. So when they go between, between them, they build their trust. Then they invite me. So as a, as a one that is foreigner, they believe that because when they cannot come together, but someone from outside can come and be with them and bring them the leaders they come. This is how our, we work with them and our technique. And we brought lots of them to Shahada to Islam. And they left uh, all these kind of gangs and narcotics and trade, uh, all the different kind of trade. Uh, we also would like to apologize our phone line, the technical hitch out there today when Sheikh is here with us in the studio, how we would have, you know, love to see or, you know, receive your calls for Chef to answer them. But we're still working on it, keep trying. When we pick, the problem is, when the call is, when the call is picked, the line goes off. But keep trying, we're working on it, and hopefully you get to speak uh, with Chef. Chef, the youth, the young ones, um, looking up to you, and emulate your examples, and take up to Islamic spirituality, um, do you feel satisfied? Do you, do you have a feeling of satisfaction that at the end of the day I'm taking spirituality not to the older generation but to the younger ones that, that are coming? Uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not that one who... I, cannot, I don't know how to answer this question because you cannot uh, give yourself you cannot give yourself uh, a, a, a say, oh, I did that. No. I didn't do that. It's that uh, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the barakah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi and the support of our shiuch that we feel that they are behind us. 
uh, that's why I take it back all the way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he, uh, he, he wants something to happen and it happened, it's his way, it's not us. But we, we are happy with the hadith of Prophet where he says لَإِنْ يَهْدِيَ اللَّهُ بِكَ رَجُلًا وَاحِدًا خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنْ حُمْرِ النَّعَمِ So Allah will guide through you one person to Islam is better than the whole wealth of this dunya. So we, are, we feel that happiness because Prophet mentioned that hadith and Allah mentioned many rewards for people who are uh, on this line. And that's a compliment. Whatever. By the prophet. Yeah. <laughs> and Allah said, لا تهدي من أحباب إن الله يهدي من يشاء. So it is His will that, that guides. So we have to feel that we are ends. We are nothing in Allah's presence. We cannot do anything. It's Allah's power that do everything. We are in the month of uh, the month in which the Prophet Muhammad was born. Many are celebrating his birth and of course his demise. What is your own um, purview of the Moli of Prophet Muhammad? This is a long discussion. Mm -hmm. and uh, But uh, I can mm -hmm. give a question. Mm -hmm. my, my producer is telling me we have less than two minutes to go. <laughs> so I can say, uh, I say, I can say, where it is mentioned mm -hmm. that you cannot celebrate. Where it is mentioned? Show me in Holy Quran or Holy Hadith. Yeah, I'll follow you. Okay. If you don't have it, then don't ask me why. So we celebrate because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayu al-ladina amanu, uh, inna allaha wa malaikatahu yusalluna al nabi, ya ayu al-ladina amanu, sallu ala. We have to praise Prophet continuously, even day and night by Allah's order, non-stopping. He didn't say stop. Did he say limited? Com continuous. So if we remember Prophet Sallallahu birthday, this is a worshipness. And Allah said to Sayyidina Yahya in Holy Quran, Wassalamu alayhi yawma wilida. And he said about Sayyidina Isa, Assalamu alayhi yawma wilidu. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he asked about, they asked him about fasting of Monday, he said, I, this day I was born. So that's why we, we, we can do it. Those who doesn't do it, it's okay. It, it's up to them. Those who would like to do it, they do it. Like for example, من سنة سنة حسنة فله أجر وأجر من عمل بها إلى يوم القيامة. Who does a good thing and people follow, he will get the benefit. Why they object? Uh, when just now at the beginning of the uh, broadcast, I asked you who is that song, Masha and they saw the chief imam there right. sitting, right. and they were singing and they showing his picture. Masha so it is something new or not? Yeah, it is very good. Very new, very it is new, so we are evolving, so people evolve to the The issue of Moli, you know, could take us a whole 24 hours. But let me ask you a very quick question, that I would, I would give a very quick answer because we ran out of time. What is your philosophy of life? Philosophy of life? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Do your best because you are going one day to Allah and no one is going to look after you there except Shafa'at al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we hope that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will intercede for us because Allah will give him the Shafa'at to intercede for his Ummah. So we know that we are sinners, we know that we do sins, but we are asking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَحْفِرُ الْجُنُوبَ الْجَمْعِ before we wrap up, I have a few messages here to Miss Juliana Akusaka of St. Peter's Methodist Church, Ashana. A message for you, may you live long and be enriched in all things as you celebrate your birthday. From God we kneel at the TV3. And also from God we kneel at to Mrs. Afroda Ayikwe of St. Stephen's Church, Demo. May God enrich you in all things and may you live long as you celebrate your birthday today. This is all from God we Latte from within the house. Chef. Your advice to the Ghanaian youth in general, Muslim youth, Christian youth, everybody in general, in one piece. Be good and don't come against the government. Mashallah. Always don't come against good government. Mashallah. When you elect them, you elected them. Finish. Mashallah. They are your leader. Mashallah. Follow them. Mashallah. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Mashallah. Mashallah.
to have your, your phone number on your address.